Hey guys, I wanted to do another quick video on the Battle of Stony Point. Uh, Stony Point was a battle in 1779. Um, Stony Point is a fort that was located um, 13 miles below West Point. I would imagine, let's see, this would be north. Okay, so uh, this fort was surrounded um, almost impenetrable by thought um, by a marsh they had built abatis or long spiked trees around and uh, this was heavily fortified with uh, cannons almost 360 uh, this uh, was a 200-foot sheer rock cliff into the water of the Hudson River. Uh, it was only bisected a little bit north of the fort by King's Ferry. Um, and, of course, if you remember, uh, the British owned the Hudson at this point with their navy. Okay, so Washington wanted <coughs> Stony Point. Uh, because it cut off King's River or allowed King's River and allowed the Continental Army to move goods and services back and forth across. So he chose uh, a gentleman by the name of Mad Anthony. Uh, Mad Anthony was renowned for his uh, insanity in battle and his dandy dress as an officer out of battle. Um, sort of a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, there was 1,300 um, soldiers chosen and those soldiers were giving, given no orders except to be shaved and powdered and ready for battle at a you know 10 minute notice okay so uh, Washington because this was going to be a stealth mission with such few soldiers um, ordered that all dogs within a three mile radius be uh, killed um, he ordered that any stragglers be arrested and uh, all the uh, soldiers taped white paper to their hats so that you could see them in the dark. They also came up with a uh, term or a uh, code, uh, the fort is our own, as the identifier. Okay, so Wayne um, chose a small contingent of men, including axemen, engineers to attack full front uh, through the marsh. Um, what this would do is uh, the um, British would turn their cannons this way and eventually come outside the fort while he uh, attacked, well he sent uh, another part to uh, go against this flank to give the perception that these were the two positions in which they were being attacked. They used an African-American named Pompey who sold fruit to the British to guide them through the marshlands. Um, and what uh, he did, Wayne, was he waded through the worst lowland marshes. And let's see, it's probably more appropriate this way. Let's see, there we go. So these, and he attacked through the lowlands like this. Okay, so what happened was the British, of course, turned their guns came out of the fort to meet the enemy and he slipped in and with bayonet they took the fort. Um, Mad Anthony was uh, shot in the head but survived uh, because it was just a flesh wound. Uh, they uh, took the fort in 30 minutes. Okay, so here we have a clear example in history of a situation in which a probing uh, attack to the north and you know northeast or excuse me northwest is uh, successful as to come in the back door. I mean, 200 foot rock cliff around here, marshlands all around, all the abatis owning the river. So this was a very successful battle that you know um, in the life of the Continental Army.